there is not much to say. Um, sometimes in, I think it was, I, I'm not sure, but I think it was 1994. Uh, it was uh, a Croatian military and a Bosnian military, and they uh, worked uh, jointly on the task, uh, expelling a Serbian aggressor, Chetniks, from the local area. I would not want to guess where exactly that was, but I was returned back to the same location over and over and over again uh, to remind me of what took place and what exactly took place nobody knew until today I will declare uh, basically when I told uh, I was asked by the Croats Bosnians I don't know uh, uh, the first thing they stated was that operation was very successful to me they came I don't know exactly I'm not exactly clear about how exactly I fell on that picture that's one thing the whole thing very 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 possibly was even a setup yes so psychiatrist Peter Kapsch used one sense uh, to openly suggest me during MK Ultra in front of all kinds of people uh, that he has the right to retaliation. Uh, and so sometimes in 1994, uh, it must have been Croats and Bosnian people. Uh, Croat came to me and said that that operation was very successful. I did not really understood why he came to report to me like I am his senior or something like that. Uh, but uh, I was glad. A weird fact is also that I was delivered by the Slovenian side over there, by none other than psychiatrist Kapsch. Uh, psychiatric personnel from Ljubljana Polje, psychiatrist Kapsch was not the only one who espionaged for the Serbia. This is related to this post here. A very very short post and it's the post that definitely deserves the video to be video recording because this is witnessing I even inserted the wrong link in it. I like it this way so that you know I'm doing this. A psychiatrist Kapsch was a major supporter of the Serbs. He was a major supporter of the Serbian ethnic cleansing. Uh, he espionaged usually for the Serbs. He even dared to engage in demoralization of the Croatian military, literally on the on the war field. Uh, questioned them and tried his best to shut their mind. Uh, no time ever it became more evident who this guy was when the Yugoslav Galeb, uh, the Serbian plane fell off the sky, the Croats downed this Croatian 
jet and afterwards psychiatrist cop stated also I will go and see that using me I was a tool I was a Serb Russo Serbian tool I was because the crime extermination genocide procedure was connected straight to United Nations which oftentimes or either or the journalists the so-called journalists uh, would intervene in a matter of any kind of inconvenience for the people that were near me I was used for journalists to penetrate in all, in all parts of the world uh, and of course eavesdrop what done through me for Russia Serbia then also of course other governments as I stated but on Balkans in a Balkan case in a case of the Chechnya uh, in a case of Ukraine it was Russians Ruskis who ran this procedure literally through the London through the British Royals from London indifferent was the crime against me which follow up after this incident also in 1994 when I was delivered to whatever area in Croatia under very 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 strange circumstances during which I was suggested well you practically have a chance now to retaliate uh, not exactly but they came to me asked me after stating to me operation was very successful um, do you have anything else you want to do and there was a psychiatrist cop um, which is kind of a strange I feel suspicious about it also because it was all kinds of stuff uh, that took place including asking me if if there is like anybody else that in a team you know if I would want to get rid of it or something like that they were giving me clue talking about the Croatian Bosnian side and so when they did this stuff they did it obviously in front of the psychiatrist cops and I told them flat I told them I told them of the ovary and this stuff was done on several occasions because during MK Ultra you're not capable really to just function so independently on your own I was greatly assisted I admit that uh, but sober enough to say of the ovary and also what followed uh, was in a very very sober way I told them ako ne možeš daj meni if you cannot do it give it to me I will do it I told them just ako ne možeš daj meni uh, ako ne možeš daj meni it was urge it was something I had to simply do for my soul to be relieved one parasite one parasite less basically one blood sucker less for me and I was more than willing to do it myself the Croats however didn't do it um, it took additional time additional time that means that we'll never get through uh, United Nations in area was notified about this crime you're gonna decide for yourself uh, and I was reprimanded by United Nations first I was reprimanded by United Nations psychiatrist Peter Kapsch uh, went completely psychotic he turned into total schizophrenic in my opinion if you ask me it was a setup and the next thing in Slovenia In Britain it became totally evident when meeting with the British Royals very shortly after this 
that British oils, in fact, worked hand in hand with the Chetniks, with the Serbs, uh, did their best to advocate them uh, once they started. That was in 1994, just before the genocide of Srebrenica. It became clear that British royals advocated ethnic cleansing of Balkans for the sake of the Serbia. Uh, they definitely were no friends from that moment on. It became clear that they are using me for a really, really, really dirty stuff and are even giving um, alibi, basically, advocacy to a psychiatrist, which is really a war criminal, a Serbian war criminal, uh, so he could have an alibi against me. It became completely evident. The son of the psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, also would death threaten me afterwards, uh, once he grew up, uh, that if I would have done that, if something, he, he was a son from psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was a beast. That's one thing. Znašao se je nadmano. Fizično, psihično se je svojim očetom znašao nadmano koji zrastu. Claimed that if I would have done even something like this, that he would have killed me and stuff like that. So, um, I regret something like this eventually not took place. Uh, I demonstrated a strong willingness to get a uh, job done by myself. I am truly, truly proud of myself. And I hope we'll see a psychiatrist Peter Kapsch on four pissing blood in exactly the same manner as he have done to me because I don't believe in a court of justice when it comes to MK Ultra. I don't recognize international laws, crime laws that apply to crime in the case of MK Ultra. I feel that people who do stuff like this especially have to first go on for, uh, they have to meet conscience through the pain and suffering so that then we can actually discuss, just like all serial murderers, criminals should, uh, before actually facing the justice, uh, I'm going to say even a court justice, because people like this, people like this don't feel even a little bit. These are trained criminals, these are criminals that are trained assassins without even slightest bit of conscience. You're talking about, you're not talking about the regular people who commit war crimes, but you're talking about the people who are just, uh, who live life in the spirit of, of killing. They celebrate killing. Killing is actually for the people who engage in MK Ultra a ritual, a way of life. It is also very, very, very important, however, to note what follow up after the incident, um, partially only described here. That's why this video. Just as the people who downed this Serbian fighter jet, the so-called uh, Gale, just as with absolutely everything, I was condemned. In the case of the Croatian, Bosnian in military soldiers, uh, they went on to claim that they simply didn't know about how evil I was. Funny thing was that very quickly, like within minutes, and I think that was possible that they even wanted to assist me. Uh, however, this is how a counter espionage operates. This is the advanced psychiatry which Serbs and Russians have used over and over and over again. It's uh, counter espionage which allow enemy to actually lose the battle, yet return on the picture through MK Ultra immediately in the heads of those who won the war and condition them what could be a war crime. Yeah, if they would execute psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, it would be considered as an execution 
is a war crime. You have to go to trial. You killed the Slovenian over there. Who was who was he exactly? I'm asking the Croatian government. Did he have a journalism uh, tag? Did he have what kind of tag did he had? I remember Slovenian field scum who would travel to the Croatia and to the Bosnia under pretense of the Red Cross. You're talking about the physicians, doctors right here from the Novo Mesto Hospital. Who was psychiatrist Peter Kapsch when in Croatia and in Bosnia? What kind of tag, what kind of license he had? He did not operate under the United Nations. So those are the questions I'm going to ask you to explain what exactly did he have under what kind of credentials in that case if he was to be killed. What exactly would be written inside of the media if it would have been written? Those are the questions I'm asking. I would uh, go inside, they would have been inside of the vans with the Red Cross with the Slovenian scum that would travel not to cure Croats, not to cure Bosnian, but also Serbs. And what they were doing is they would go and they would, it's like under the Red Cross, and now the Slovenia is saving the Yugoslavia. Now we started to save the Yugoslavia. In a moment, whether it actually took place or did not took place, wherever military operation was exercised, in a moment, the victory that Croats and Bosnians celebrated because they did accomplish something, it was turned into a counter operation through the counter espionage, basically blaming them. You were criminals. You wanted to execute me and I have the proof. I have the tape. I have the United Nations they will witness for me. That was a psychi that was a specialty of the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. You're talking about demoralization, filter infiltration into the heads of the Croatian military and the front lines, getting in their hands, heads, make them doubt about why they even fight, make them feel sorry for the Serbian hands which they built, that's such a beautiful Yugoslav with a, a Croatian a taxpayers money, with a Bosnian, a Slovenian taxpayers money, something so beautiful that we all had to pay for. And you, you are celebrating downing such a beautiful thing. This guy was an expert scumbag. He's a real war criminal that makes me believe that Radovan Karadzic was his student, not vice versa. This is a career war criminal, counterintelligence, extremely expert, well-trained criminal. Not a psychiatrist, really. A manager, a main promoter of Milorad Dodik and of the Chetnik people in Belgrade, where he traveled with the Novo Mesto police all the fucking time. This is not a regular police, this is not a regular psychiatry. And the Red Cross that was in the name of the Red Cross saving lives was saving lives something else what they were doing. They dragged alongside to the Croatia, to the Bosnia, something else, a different kind of message. It was amazing. Then within one fucking hour, the Croats came in my face with the Bosnians and they wanted to whack me after the incident. That's amazing. It's amazing that, that it, it, it turned into a total hostility against me when they delivered me next time and so on. So that means that they went on to brainwash them on how, you know, killing, ethnic cleansing, you committed ethnic cleansing, you were going to commit. So you were going to commit, you could be guilty, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not the right thing. This is not the way you do it. This is not the way. We caught you, man. We caught you. So if those guys did not fake, 
if those guys were not part of the unit which might have been even connected to the Serbs and have committed such a thing, so they would cast black shadow on entire Croatian Bosnian formation that fought against this Serbian aggression, um, they just fell victims into it. All I know is it didn't end. It became a permanent location where the psychiatrist cops and Slovenian police would continue to deliver me to meet possibly even these traitors who got now international protection thanks to the so-called MK Ultra case because it was United Nations that intervened on occasion. It became recorded by United Nations with the people, including on the picture. You know how fucked up this stuff is, MK Ultra? Through this case, now you start to get understanding what the fuck went on. And what started to engage in all kinds of harassment, intimidations, blames, uh, suggesting me they would kill me. And I want the names of those people because I want to see what those people have to say about it. I want to learn about these people, who these people are. And I want the rest of the unit, wherever this was in Croatia or Bosnia, uh, take this video and understand what MKUltra is, what MKUltra can do to you, what MKUltra, the ability of MKUltra to penetrate in absolutely every pore of the life and destroy one with the assistance of United Nations as a main instrument of extermination. British royals reprimanded me. I was no good. You know, I was, obviously I was no fucking good. I was a uh, war criminal before even Srebrenica commenced interesting. What would have happened if psychiatrist Peter Kopsch was murdered in, killed in 1994? Um, would the guys really get on trial? Could anyone really do anything for them from the legal aspect? Well, let's look into this matter. I was a subject to a torture, bestiality, um, directly in the hands of the psychiatrist, murderous psychiatrist, for whom Croatian state learned was closely, on several occasions, was closely collaborating, cooperating with the Serbian Chetniks. The answer to this question is, I don't know how much those guys uh, would fear, this is why I doubt that this were really a pristine, loyal to Croatia, to Bosnia people. I doubt about these guys. I don't actually, that, you know, there was a case about this family, about this family also, that uh, they, had, they sent the son to the Croatian military through Nabornishtvo, through the, through the hiring process, knowing that he suffered a cardiovascular problems, a very serious cardiovascular problems, also crime in which Milan Kuchan was involved in it, Slovenian side with the psychiatrist cops, Novo Mesto police and so on. Uh, I have already spoke about that one, wrote about. Um, the answer to this question is absolutely no. Um, what would have happened to the guys like this is that um, they would be acquitted from murder charges and they would be praised as a heroes, as a most humane, as a most normal people the world have ever seen. Obviously, I would go and testify against the psychiatrist. Uh, obviously, I would go and explain his murderous agenda, his murderous whereabouts on the Balkans, and uh, I don't see how anybody, for that matter, would be charged with anything. These guys were used to intimidate other Croatian military soldiers. They were used for the Croatian government for the top of the Croatian government to get a clearance 
in front of the Croatian nation, in front of Croatian warriors, uh, they basically immortalized Serbian collaborator, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. That's what they did. Uh, it was nothing other than intimidation. If you would kill the guy, the only thing that would happen is you would be praised as a hero uh, for centuries to come. This was one of the worst parasites, bloodsuckers. This was the worst parasite, bloodsucker. The worst. Not one of the worst, but the worst parasite, bloodsucker involved in MK Ultra was a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch. There is absolutely no doubt about it. This is an individual, a serial killer, not even a human being for whom God knows how many innocent lives were wasted, destroyed. God knows how many people this individual killed, had literally fingers in it. God knows how many this individual murdered, how many innocent people lost their lives because of him. Absolutely not. That's why I think those Croatians, when they started this type of process, were totally, totally fake.